and it's all based on the individual. We're constantly going back and looking at the customer, and what does the customer need? Well, our customer here is Sven, and we're going to come back to Sven throughout the day and kind of see how he plays into our HP story, but Sven has a lot of needs, like computing, mobile computing and communication, his entertainment, and they're all around him all the time, and he's trying to find a way to pull them all together, and, and we constantly have devices in our life. We all carry a try and figure out, hey, these devices are being used for information. They're trying to get you to information. You're trying to use that information for something. So we're doing information like movies, music, the, the documents that you do for work, um, the photos that you take. And we've got to figure out a way of making it easy to take all of that content, bring it together, and then deliver it back through those devices that we've already innovated. So that's the second step, is the information side of it. And then the third step, is once we've got that information flow, we're wanting to connect with others around us, whether that's the pizza guy so that we can order a pizza and have it at our house in 30 minutes, or whether that's talking to your friends and family across the ocean. We do that through a number of different mediums now, whether it's video, whether it's text, whether it's email. Um, we're connecting with people constantly. We've got to find a way of getting Sven to be able to talk to the people out in the world that he wants to communicate with, whether that so Sven's over there, he's stuck at an airport suddenly, and he's going to be stuck there a while. He's got to figure out a hotel, he's got to figure out a rental car, he's got to figure out how long he's staying there, he's got to cancel all of his business meetings. He's got some serious problems that he's facing, and he's going to be stuck there a really long time. Well, that's when we pull out one of our fantastic products we just talked about, the Envy. What I have in my hands is an accessory to the Envy that comes standard. It's a slate battery that actually fits across the entire bottom of the unit and locks in. With the slate battery in place, you add about um, three quarters of an extra pound to the device, but you get 18 hours of time on your laptop. That's 18 hours. That means this laptop is going to outlast Sven as he's stuck in the airport. So our next product is the HP Media Server. Now, you guys are familiar with, with the server environment. Most consumers have no idea. The word server scares them to death. But a cute little product like this does not. And for about $350 to $400, you can pick up a base configuration on this. And with a simple wizard, actually set this up on your network, connect all of your computers, and pull all of your media together and distribute that so that every computer and even your televisions, now through IP-connected TVs or through DMRs, can pull all of the movie context, all context, um, all of the pictures, all of the music from one place. So you can actually have a unified library um, that serves everybody. So coming back to Sven and how he's going to use our innovation and information, he's now stuck in a small little hotel room for a day or three days or five days, as it may happen, depending on the ash clearing. Um, and he's got an old CRT TV, if he's lucky. If not, he probably has one of these things sitting over in the corner. And of course, that's not going to do. He's got days to sit in this hotel room. So he actually connects to his home server through a remote connection because the servers are all made to do uh, remote access and actually have a video streaming capability built into them. So now he's actually able to take his video, his files, his music, whatever he may have, and port it right over to his Envy in his hotel room so that he can stay productive, he can stay entertained as he's stuck over there, um, and take care of business as he continues going on. So again, it's about taking the information that we're already doing and finding ways of delivering it to people through remote access through devices that deliver it in special ways that, that people want. As we talked about earlier, is our, our touch smart um, being able to load up YouTube. Um, so a, as we take our, our um, video feed here, we're able to record whatever may be happening. Everybody say hi. Hi. Oh, that was the lamest hello I think I've ever seen. Wow. And you guys are going to have to live with that forever because um, I'm going to post that up to YouTube here. So I'm going to go and grab that, upload to YouTube. It's asking me for my uh, password and my username, which I'm not going to share with you. Um, and all I have to do is give a, a couple of instructions. Let's title this out as our uh, Saber event. The description is a really lackluster hello. 
I've made it public so that anybody that goes out to YouTube can actually find this, and I'll show you the uh, link for it at the end, and boom, there it is. So for all those people who say, oh, yeah, yeah, YouTube's out there. I know you, you people use YouTube. Suddenly, we've got a way for them to do that instantaneously, just without even thinking, being able to interact with it. And on a device that's very easy to use in the home, one of the most interesting things about the design of this device is actually that it's not touch sensitive at all. What it's doing is it's using infrared light to watch where our fingers break the, the light net and then acknowledging that as a touch. Well, why is that important? Because that allowed HP to actually design a shatter-resistant, scratch-resistant plexiglass surface on the front of this device so that if the forgetful dad comes up and says, oh, yeah, I need to do, oh, was I not supposed to use my keys on this? You're fine. If the kids come up and are throwing yogurt all around the kitchen and splatter it all across the screen, you just wipe it up. It's just plexiglass. That's all it is. There's no problems there. It's sealed around the edges so that you can actually clean it with any standard cleaner you have. Index, you can use ammonia. You can do anything you want on that because it was designed to be in the home. So we're opening up that opportunity. And um, just to drive this point home at the end of my presentation, I am actually going to show you a live Skype call for those of you who have never done this before. So get ready. This is my little brother, Jeremy, who, who by the way, just graduated with his degree in astronomy. If any of you happen to be looking for a bachelor's degree in astronomy, astronomy he's, he's looking for the job. Hi, Jeremy. Hey, how's it going, guys? Everybody say hi to my little brother, Jeremy. Hello. <laughs> so who have you got this with you, Jeremy? Carly. That's, that's Carly. How's Carly doing today? She's pretty good. <laughs> Say hi, Carly. Can you wave? <laughs> hi. <laughs> As you can see, really simple interaction and so much more valuable than just having to do a phone call. Thanks, Jeremy. I appreciate it. No problem. Hey, when is that uh, that iPad that you're gonna? I mean, slate that you're gonna give me come. <laughs> Goodbye, Jeremy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> My brother, everybody. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't plan for things like that.